So this is really interesting for a couple of reasons I'd like to add. So what's going on? Well, Star Wars, the Legends of Luke Skywalker, the manga has been announced. Key word there, the manga. What do you think about that? A couple of reasons why before we even get into this, this is interesting because if you didn't know, there's already ongoing Star Wars comic books over at Marvel Comics. They do all of the Star Wars stuff except for one book that IDW, I believe, does. And it's mostly, you know, kind of kiddie art. It's very focused towards trying to bring in children despite its $4 price tag, <laughs> which is stupid in itself. But that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to talk about what's going on here. This is very interesting, be it the fact that Disney already owns a comic maker. But it's not just Disney that's doing this. Marvel themselves have went to Shonen Jump to have top artists in Japan draw and write their characters. I mean, it's almost like Ford going to Toyota and saying, will you make a car for me? You mind making a car? That'd be kind of cool. Now, I understand they appeal to you know different demographics, East versus West, all that stuff. But the fact remains that... Anime, manga, all that stuff comes over here as well. And it competes now with stuff over here. Manga is definitely competing with comic books. That's a fact. In fact, it's already destroying them. More people are actually interested in it and want to read it. And I think it's funny that now Star Wars, <laughs> owned by Disney, is saying, well, you know... We don't want Marvel to make this. We're going to go ahead and head over to Japan and have them make it. And let me tell you something. This is an original piece of work. There's a reason that this is very interesting because they're not technically writing this. This is an adaption of an already existing property. Let me go over this. At New York Comic Con over the weekend, Viz Media announced Star Wars The Legends of Luke Skywalker, the manga. It will be an adaption of Ken Liu's anthology novel series that was published in 2017 in the lead-up to Star Wars The Last Jedi. The anthology included six stories surrounding the myth and legend of Luke Skywalker. It was told from the perspective of a number of children who were heading to Canto Bight. So the reason I find this kind of interesting is because, as you can see here, this already exists. This is already an existing written property. It was a novel. It's, it's not exactly even about Luke Skywalker. It's about people that tell stories and legends about him. It's a collection of things he's done. So I wonder, are they going to just change it to his perspective, or are they going to keep the original story? It's got 113 reviews, and we can go through some of those in a second. But the point here is, if it's already a, a written story, why don't you just give it to your Marvel artists to do? <laughs> you know, why don't you turn it to a Marvel comic? Oh, wait, what's that? Comic book sales are in the toilet? Your own your Star Wars comics don't even sell that good? That's kind of shocking. What they're doing here, and the reason for this, and it shouldn't be surprising, is they want to tap into that anime and manga audience. They go grab them. Hey, maybe we can get them into Star Wars. You know, we're going to announce Luke Skywalker, the most popular character in the, in the franchise. And we're bringing in uh, people from Japan to adapt it. It might, maybe, spark some excitement and hype. Because i got to tell you, there is no hype for Rise of the Skywalker. Rise of the Skywalker comes out in two months and nobody is hyped about it at all. That's kind of concerning. Do you remember everything leading up to Force Awakens and The Last Jedi, despite you know that The Last Jedi wasn't a very good movie? Did you, do you remember that hype? There's no hype for Rise of the Skywalker. The theme parks that opened in both Disneyland and Disney World are empty. No one's going in there. And don't forget... The merchandise isn't selling that well either. So hey, let's just go ahead and see if we can grab a hold of that manga and uh, anime market 
Maybe see if they'll come over to Star Wars. You know, if you manage to get a couple of them excited through your little collaboration here, they'll go and watch your new movies, and I don't think they'll be sticking around for very much longer. Uh, reviews on this book aren't too bad. I'm just going off of the customer reviews that I read on Amazon. Whether it's good, I can't tell you. I haven't read it. I have no, I have no desire to read it. After reading Chuck Windig's books, oh, I actually I only read Aftermath because like what was that? That was leading up to Force Awakens, so I thought maybe it would be good. I didn't even finish that book. It was so bad. I didn't even finish it. I wonder how many people actually managed to sit through that book. I thought it was terrible. Terrible read. Didn't like it. This, however, not excited about this at all. I have like no excitement for Star Wars. You can't even get me excited by announcing that you have a manga of Luke Skywalker coming. So I'm out. Not interested. I'm sure uh, some people might find some enjoyment in this. But if it's going to be based on that book that's already been released, I'm good. But for those of you that do want it, according to this article here, it's going to be released early next year. So maybe check that out. I, I, I guess <laughs> I'm going to pass on it. Rise of the Skywalker. Where's the hype? Where is it? I don't think it exists. Also, speaking of not existing, Rose Tico merchandise. I'm going to go over that for a minute. I was going to do a separate video on it, but I'm like, I don't know. I'll just add it to this one. Uh, this is pretty funny. A couple people already talked about it. But Rose Tico merchandise vanished. And we have really good examples of that. So check this out. Somebody went and actually got some evidence of this. So this is a shirt. Here's the design for the shirt. You see Rose Tico right there in the back. And the shirt comes out. Boom. Where is Rose? Rose is gone. <laughs> they removed her completely. Go here. Here's a Rebel shirt here. You got Rose Tico right in the front. And it's gone. <laughs> it's gone. Got some right here. I think you see Rose Tico right here next to Chewbacca. Moving on over. Rose Tico is gone. They photoshopped her out of their stuff. Got another example right here. Check this out. You got a shirt right here. You see her in the back. She's right there by Chewbacca. Go to the next one. Boom. She's gone. That's kind of funny. You have to admit. That's kind of funny and interesting that they took her out of stuff. How dare you? You know. The Twitter clowns are going to go crazy. How dare you remove that character that we love so much, even though we don't really talk about the movie very much. We're only mad because you removed her because she's a POC. That's the only reason that they're going to get mad. So anyway, kind of funny. Star Wars, the manga, coming soon. What a joke. Considering you own Marvel Comics and you could have had them make it. Clearly it says you're trying to reach a new market. Makes sense, I guess. I guess. I just find it funny that now both Marvel and Star Wars are being drawn in Japan and Disney literally owns, <laughs> they literally own, you know, people that can make these things, but they're going to license it out. I'm telling you, I think Marvel Comics not going to be around in two to three years in the way it is right now. I, I think they're going to end up licensing the comics to other people. I've had this theory for a while. A lot of other people have had this theory for a while. I think Marvel Comics, as its own thing, is on its way out. And who knows? Maybe maybe they'll license them to uh, people over in Japan, and that'd be kind of cool. Then we could go back to real stories instead of the, you know all the checkbox garbage that Western storytellers have to abide and bend the knee to. So no excitement for this. Now, let me tell you what would have gotten me excited. Is if you would have said, hey, you know, famous Japanese artist, writer, why don't you write your own story? You can use our characters. Why don't you just tell your own story? That would have been kind of cool. The fact that it's already a pre-existing garbage new Disney book, not interested. Because I'm going to tell you, I've heard a lot of really bad things about everything that's come out. You know, the new Disney canon books. Hard to follow up because those old books are really good. Really good stuff. Instead, you know, we're getting a bunch of Chuck Windig crap. So, not excited for this because of that. I would have loved to have seen what they could have came up with over there. Kind of like what they're doing with the with the Marvel comic book characters. They're actually letting them tell their own stories, which I think would have been a lot better to do. So, anyway, Rose Tico getting taken out. I wonder if she's even a big prominent feature in the movie. 
who knows? Anyway, like, subscribe. Give me your thoughts on all this. What do you think about Rose Tico? What do you think about this Luke Skywalker uh, kind of half manga? Because they're only drawing it. They're not writing it. Uh, give me your thoughts on this stuff. Like, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Uh, make sure you're still subscribed, by the way. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.